All right, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video. Happy New Year, everyone. We've made it to 2023. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for watching. Uh, definitely appreciate it. But today, today we're going to talk about is Tesla getting screwed out of this electric vehicle tax credit, the Inflation Reduction Act, all the new guidelines that specifically t the Treasury and the IRS have announced now. And because there's a couple of tweets that, you know, Tesla Twitter is basically going and attacking this guy, this bill and all the different uh, clarifications between vehicles because there's vehicles that qualify for this dang tax credit. And of course, there's vehicles that Tesla doesn't. So we'll take a look at it. It's, it's pretty, pretty interesting, you know, news and drama, I would say. But uh, before we get into that, let's roll my intro real quick. All right, so thanks for watching another video. Thanks for watching another stream. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on a Tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing on your Tesla. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. And today's video is actually sponsored by Tenant, which actually goes really good in hand in hand with EV financing and this, you know, tax credit, the $7,500 tax credit. But we'll talk about that a little later. All right, so. Today, if you don't know this past week, this is kind of what was released, this IRS guidelines, and there's a list of vehicles that qualify for this, you know, $7,500 tax credit. And there's a lot of inconsistencies here if you haven't been following. Like for instance, a quick one is like the Mach-E or backing up just a little bit, the Ford Escape plug-in hybrid, which is not a full EV, qualifies all the way up to $80,000. And the Mach-E, which is like a SUV slash like, Station wagon is only capped at $55,000, just like how Tesla has the Model Y capped as well as $55,000. Thousand dollars. So I started seeing this stuff on Twitter, and there's just there's a lot of people upset about this because it doesn't make any sense. So here's a tweet from Farzad, uh, Farz at Farziness. So quote: The car on the left has a gas engine. It gets 20 miles per gallon. It has 21 miles of electric range, and it gets the full $7,500 EV tax credit. Of course, if you qualify, you know, due to income and have a tax lobby and things like stuff like that. And then he goes on, the car on the right is electric only and gets 113 miles per gallon or miles per electric E, whatever, engine E, and it has 330 miles of range. It does not get the $7,500 EV tax credit. So of course he's referring to the Jeep 4XE or 4XE, which is a plug-in hybrid. And of course the Tesla Model Y does not qualify in its current it's at its current price of 65,990. And this is why you know I definitely speculated that Tesla was going to change a lot of their prices today or even this week. But I guess maybe you know they're still. On you know it's it's a new it's a holiday right in America so maybe you know we, you know we're taking off today and the Tesla team did work you know really hard last night I was getting pictures like Fremont was like insane like the in, there's still pictures of people in the delivery showroom at like I want to say like eight to nine p.m. and they closed at like seven I'm pretty sure so they were working extra hard to try and pump up as pump out as many deliveries as possible at the end of the month so here's another tweet from Farzad quote Tesla is getting screwed hard. Here's a chart that outlines the complete absurdity of the e IRA EV tax credit. And if you look into it, there's a bunch of vehicles on this list. Of course, all these are plug-in hybrids. So the, or plug-in electric hybrids, which all have like a small little battery that gives you know a little bit of mile range for these. So Audi Q5, plug-in uh, BMW X5, plug-in Ford Escape, Jeep, Wrangler, uh, Jeep Cherokee, Grand Cherokee plug-in, plug-in. You can see he broke down all these stats, you know, hybrid, five seats, electric vehicle range. You know, these are like, you know, this is nothing in comparison to like a true EV like the Model Y. And then here are the various MSRP caps. Of course, wow, I actually found that this is kind of interesting. So a BMW X5 45e plug-in hybrid is about the same price as an electric EV. So yeah, that's you know, some food for thought. But of course, so all these qualify for the EV tax credit and the Model Y pure EV with 330 mile range at $66,000 
does not qualify for any of the EV tax credits. So, and, you know, the Tesla Tesla Twitter's, you know, definitely been brewing a buzz on this. You know, here's a list of it again. <laughs> the way he puts it is just funny. I mean, the following are five C gas cars that are that have they get the seven point five thousand EV tax credit while the Tesla Model Y doesn't. Yeah, I mean, it definitely is very weird why this you know the treasury and the irs has come out with these this list of vehicles that qualifies or is it because the manufacturers are giving this list but it did it doesn't make sense at the end of the day and i, I mean i certainly feel like tesla is getting screwed but you know tesla could also lower prices to meet the the price caps but then also who's putting these price caps at the end of the day so i feel like tesla should lower prices but you know they could be getting screwed as well and it really just feels like a lot of this money is going to the other legacy oems at this point because all their vehicles can qualify uh, as well so i put a poll out there because you know it's it's the first of the year now so like now there is no 7500 dollars discount you have to get the tax credit when you file for your taxes so it you know it makes it a little bit tough it's not as impactful as a 7500 discount you have to finance more you have to pay higher sales tax on the purchase price you have to pay more interest and it just trickles down to all this stuff uh, so if you're a lucky person that you know took delivery of a vehicle a ticket of delivery of a tesla in the last few weeks of december you know i would say that's a win for sure just because of how impactful a 7500 discount now is instead of you know a tax credit that you get in may Maybe 2024. But this is why I put a poll out there. Are you taking delivery of your Tesla in January of 2023 now? I just posted it an hour ago, but we got 72 votes already. Yes, I have to regardless. I need a car. You know, that's certainly understandable. 31% said, nope, I'm canceling. One, only 1%. 1% so far. I mean, this is a pretty early poll. Only 1% said, yep, I qualify for the tax credit. 25% said, I'm still confused on what qualifies for the tax credit and what. Uh, and I think I should make another updated video on this. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I still think Tesla is going to do some sort of price adjustments in the next month. I mean, we have delivery and production numbers coming out, I think, in the next day or so. Uh, and then also the earnings call later this month. So there's it's going to be a very exciting time, I would say, for Tesla pricing and purchasing. It, but it's also an anxiety time, that's for sure. Uh, once I feel like we need to get more clarification on this tax credit. I've been seeing that, you know, there's people that have been getting notifications. So shout out to Ati. Uh, who definitely is a viewer of the channel. He sent me this screenshot. This is in his back end of his delivery appointment. And it says, quote, federal tax credit through March of 2023. So the first quarter, as we predicted, certain Model 3 and Model Y trims now qualify for $7,500 tax credit or federal tax incentive for qualified buyers as part of the IRA. And you would think if you click learn more, it would give you, you know, some more information that, you know, it says like this vehicle qualifies or this doesn't. They're kind of just letting you try and figure out yourself, which I get it, right? They're not accountants at the end of the day, but federal tax rate until December of 2023. So that's different than the last screen. Customers who purchase a qualifying new Tesla vehicle meet the adjusted gross income and meet the adjusted gross income limitations may receive a tax credit up to 7500 during their tax filing. Adjusted income limitations, of course, we already know this, 150 for singles and 300 for married, and a vehicle and a final vehicle price before tax fees of less than 55000 So this is, I guess, uh, referring to the Model 3 that he has selected in his order and then other vehicle price caps, 55 k for Zan. SUVs, pickup trucks, and vans, 80K. So, which is interesting because like they don't even set themselves of course they probably haven't updated it them right but it doesn't necessarily like we all think suv equals model y and model y equals suv but it doesn't i think this is more, more so like a copy paste they have to add a little bit more clarification i would say for customers so regarding the 7500 dollars tax credit and and this is, I mean, this really leads into, I mean, this whole talk about this 7,500 tax credit and it being not until you, you don't get that tax rate until 2024. This leads perfectly into our sponsor of the channel, Tenant. Tenant is a different way of financing your vehicle. You can also refinance your current EV as well, but it makes a lot of sense to use this service or financial service to finance your vehicle if you're purchasing in the next month or even this year and you're banking on that 7,500 tax credit. Because you don't get that tax credit all the way until now, next year 2024 when you file for your taxes you can actually use tenant to defer that portion 7500 or even more up to 25 percent of the vehicle to finance to finance that all the way out to the bottom to the end 
Tenant kind of understands EVs a little bit differently than other vehicles, and that's why they allow this uh, type of financing for EVs. So definitely check out Tenant if you're interested. Link link down below in the description. And thank you to Tenant for sponsoring this video and a bunch of other videos this month. All right, so that's basically it. There's a you know a lot of drama right now. I think people are kind of hacking back and forth on the Tesla you know tax credit and why you know certain vehicles don't qualify and certain some do. But let's jump in some comments really quick and see kind of what's going on. All that jazz, Paul.